What's poppin' all stars? Welcome back to my channel. It's me here to Shay, your biggest and brightest shining star. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Mars in Sagittarius. Now, Mars. First, we're just gonna get straight into it. Mars represents your sex drive, your instincts. Um, it represents the masculine energy that you carry within yourself, whether you are male or female. Mars also represents how you go about achieving goals, drive your ambition, and how you go about getting things done. Um, and like I said, it includes your sex drive, so it tells you how you are in bed and how you like to just basically dominate. Now, Mars being in Sagittarius, these people are very fun and optimistic, uplifting people. These people are very energetic people. These people um, may have um, a lot of pent up anger if they don't get to roam free or just go for a walk or do something that makes them feel like they have freedom. You know, these people, it's fire. They have a drive for um, having big dreams and philosophies. You know, Mars and Sagittarius people are the type of people that, you know, they can have a goal in mind and they could have this big vision to see how we can all come to fruition. But it never, not I won't say never, depending on what placement you have in your birth chart, but this, um, this ideology that they have of their goals and their vision, like sometimes it don't go past that. Like they may start up a business, but it won't go past the basics. Like, you know, and like I said, it's not for everybody, but people that I know with Mars and Sagittarius, it's kind of like this. And they feel like they know a lot. Like they think they have a lot of wisdom, which they do, but sometimes, um, they don't, you know, and sometimes when they, whenever they tell you something and you don't agree with them, they can get offended because it's like their, their overall core center that drives them. Whenever you tell them that whatever they believe in doesn't sound like it adds up, it kind of just makes them think like, um, okay, like why would you not believe me? And it's just a thing about being with, having Mars and Sagittarius is it's, some, it's not it's a mutable sign, so it's not fixed. It's not something that is fixated on one thing. So you could be into this one minute and be into this one minute and just be super flighty. And now when it comes to like relationships and um, being intimate with people, you like to have things very light and fun, playful, optimistic, but you don't like to feel smothered and you don't like to feel caged in and you don't like things to be too serious. And sometimes when it gets to that level, when it's too serious, you kind of back up a little bit or be like a Sagittarius and just run off. Um, so these people may love um, just having friends and people to teach them things, people they can teach things, people they can share ideas with, but when it, as far as like relationships and stuff, they like it to be like more like a friendship and more like just chill. And some people with Mars and Sagittarius, honestly, um, they deal with a lot of long distance relationships or relationships that won't too quickly like grow into something that's like stable or something that's super intimate because their sex drive is in a place that needs freedom and in a place that um, has its own philosophies of how, you know, Mars and Sagittarius see the world in a way that's, you know, kind of different and unique to them. You know, they have mutable ways of um, seeing things. They have, it's fire, so fire deals with vision. So these people have a lot of great vision for their life and just life in general. And so sometimes being around people can kind of dampen that. And so, yeah. So these people, they just have a very good way of just making you feel uplifted and excited. So when they have ideas, it's very easy for them to persuade other people into doing things. Like when you see a Mars and Sagittarius come around and you know they got a lit idea, it's just you wanna, you feel like you wanna join them, you know? And that's just the energy they carry. Like they're, they're super um, motivational people. Um, I have my, uh, my ascendant in Sagittarius, so I come off that way. Um, so these people are kind of preachy, you know, they kind of like to um, just tell you what they think and tell you, like, you know, like, da-da-da-da-da, what's best, or in their opinion. And sometimes 
like I said, they'll get upset if people don't agree with them all the time. And it's because sometimes what they say don't really add up um, because it's mutable and it, the vision changes so often. Their vision of life and what they want to do changes. Like I said, even if they have a job and they want to, not a, like a job or like a career or whatever they're working on, it's not a fixed um, Mars placement. So it's going to take a lot of envisioning for them to sit down and figure out what they want to do and then when they do start to stabilize things it just it takes a while for it to manifest into reality unless you have like capricorn taurus virgo a lot of other earth or you're around people that you inspire that help you to cultivate your ideas and ground it into reality i know that sometimes mars and sagittarius people like to sit down and talk to people about what they want and what they want to achieve and accomplish and then it's, it's like almost like they expect for when they tell you oh, okay let me see how like it's, it's like it don't ever really go past their vision sometimes like it really don't unless you have earth and even then sometimes it is your overall will is an immutable fire sign and people can't see your vision like you gotta learn how to manifest that and that's what your mars placement does it helps you manifest things it helps you work on what you want you know work on what your moon wants so it helps you to manifest what you want so yeah like these people like when they get mad like i said they they get mad and they'll cuss you out and they'll tell you about yourself and make you feel a certain way but eventually they'll get over it you know it's not some they don't harbor a lot of harsh feelings and like i said like even if they do like they need to find ways to like move their physical body like even if they mad they need to go on a walk or they just need to get away like this is what they do they're not the type of people that when they get mad they like they don't their way they don't brood or like their way of getting over things is just to escape like they just want to escape real quick like you go to walk go to the store and they just won't bring it back up because at that point like they felt like they got their freedom out their situation they over it so it's like they don't even want to talk about it no more and yeah so i would just like until all mars and sagittarius people like if you have dreams ambitions goals um it's it's very good to idealize it and like you gotta have vision obviously everybody needs to have a vision but your mars being in this placement it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of work you're gonna have to use other elements other tools in your chart for you to um get somewhere and for you to you know do what you want to do so if you need help with this placement please email me we can do a natal reading for you and figure out these energies um that's pretty much what i have for this video though like i said please reach out to me if you do need help um i do accept natal readings and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel smash the notification bell so you know exactly when i upload a video subscribe comment down below any thoughts and opinions any questions even if you watch all the way to the end and you ain't got nothing to say just go ahead and start me some spam emojis and i'll see you guys in another one Mwah. peace